This episode is stupid. Stupid, but in a really good way. I just really can't even find the right words for it. This is Mega Man NG, and I welcome you to another Rise of the TMNT episode review. Today, we're talking about the second segment of episode three, Newsworthy. And considering that, yeah, I'm just gonna explain it right here and now, this episode was dumb, hilarious, and overall funny. I'll provide a summary of this episode, as well as some of the main points. And there's just one complaint that I have with it. I'll explain it in a bit. Let's get started. A reporter named Warren Stone is now nothing but a mutant worm. He wants payback on the turtles for some weird reason. I don't even know. Meanwhile, the turtles are out searching for a mutant hippo magician, with Rap being the bait at first. Sadly, Raf ends up being paid for Warren's plans, and Warren ends up getting wiped. Or does he? But when Warren takes matters into his own hands, he gets a needed upgrade. Will this upgrade give him what he needs to get revenge, or will it all backfire horribly for him? And what about the mutant hippo? Will the turtles be able to find him and keep him under wraps? Along with War and Pizza, which I reviewed yesterday, this third episode also comes with this one. And believe it or not, I'll just say it here. This episode is stupid. It's stupid, it's dumb, it's hilarious, but it was also pretty good. This episode marks a debut, or rather two debuts actually. The first is Warren Stone, voiced by John Michael Higgins. He's pretty, he was once a anchor man who ends up getting largely forgotten, only to end up being mutated due to a mutant, like those mutant, mutant mosquitoes. That was back in episode 1, and wants revenge against the Turtles for some dumb reason. We actually see in some flashbacks that, well, let's just say things do not go so well for this guy. I mean it, this guy is without a doubt one of the lamest villains in the entire season. Lame in a very humorous way. I mean, come on, he is funny, but this guy is just without a doubt really lame. I mean, a mutant worm who was once an anchorman that wants revenge... If that's not pettiness, I don't know what is. There's also the Hypnopotamus, the Magician Hippo, or rather the Hypno Magician, voiced by Riss Darby. And Riss Darby delivered a really good job with his performance, even for a one-off. It's just really, really good. He turns out to actually be the better villain by a long shot because of his abilities and his powers, especially when he uses hypnotism to pretty much, well, get the turtles into a hypnotic state. It was humorous for me personally because I liked it big time. Way better than Warren Stone, who without a doubt became lame. To be fair, however, Warren Stone does get an upgrade, but that upgrade doesn't really do much. Especially, surprisingly, at the end, he ends up being the one that saves the day. That, to me, was my one disappointment. My one disappointing thing about the episode is that Warren Stone ends up saving the day. And the worst part is that the Turtles don't even realize it until the end. Yeah, he ends up using the very stone that gave him an upgrade against the Hypnopotamus, and he was able to, well, backfire his attack right back. But don't get me wrong, the rest of the episode was good. The action scenes was awesome. Though, what really tops it was the humor, and sometimes a bit of a fear factor, since, well, in one scene when Warren was on Leo's face, Leo slices him. And I thought that it, they really went too far with that, but nope. It was just scary to look at. The reaction the turtles had was just humorous and hilarious. And Leo's wondered why the heck would he do it. Only to find out that this guy, since he's a mutant worm, well, he pretty much was able to grow back. Yeah, you thought that something like this would happen in a cartoon? No way. It was done many times in the 2012 show, but not here. I could be wrong on that, but... Yeah, the episode was pretty good. The highlight for me personally was the action scenes at the end of the episode where they take on the mutant hypno mean hippo magician. And even though it was a short fight, we do get to see what the hippo magician was all about. And he was actually pretty deadly. My only problem is that, well, he ended up getting taken down by his own medicine, or in this case, his own magic. As Warren was able to use the very gem that he got his powers, his upgrade, against them, which also in turn destroyed the gem, and he was reduced back to normal, reducing him to being the lame villain we know. I already mentioned my one gripe, but does it stop the episode from being good? Not really. The episode was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. And the ending, it did give us some more humorous moments, like the scene with the hip hippo magician wooing Mikey, who was disguised as a hippo, to lure him out, and the reaction he got was just rather hilarious. It was funny as heck. Really liked it big time, and I know that it may not be for everyone, but yeah, it has some stupid moments. 
but those stupid moments were done in a good and humorous way. I could be wrong with that. My rating for the episode will be in the description below, but if you want to know, I give it a solid A. The animation is still good, and having 2D animation helps give us some good action scenes, and I liked it big time, it really did. Even though those action scenes were short, they were worth it. I love, I liked the episode a lot, and remember, this is all my opinion, so yeah, if I like an episode, I'll let you know that, but if there's one episode I outright dislike, you will know for sure, and so far, after watching a few of these, the episodes turn out to be pretty good. And I really do look forward to the series when it comes in September when I will be reviewing the entire series. What this is is a sneak peek. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode review. I have one more episode review and then I'll have to wait till September to review the rest. Look forward to my reviews when they come. If you've seen the episode, let me know what you think in the comments. Was it good? Was it bad? Feel free to tell me. That is going to be it. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And please don't forget to do the five things. Like, comment, share especially share the video around, subscribe, and more importantly, click the bell. Doing all of these help me out big time. If you want to help the channel, consider supporting me on Patreon. All it takes is a dollar a month, and it helps me out greatly so I can continue making videos like these. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out. Cowabunga!